بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد الى حبت الله continuing on in our study of shar sunnah li imam ba bahari rahmatullahi alayhi qala al muallif qala al muallif rahimahullah ta'ala wa alam rahimakallah innahu la ta'a li bashar fi ma'siyati azza wa jal imam ba bahari rahmatullahi alayhi said in the 37th point in his treaty shar sunnah he said and no may allah have mercy upon you that there is no obedience to anyone or to a human being at the expense of being disobedient to Allah the Almighty. And this is in accordance with the statement of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that he said in a hadith Sahih Ruahu Ahmed fi Musnidihi وَأَبُوْ النَّعِيمِ فِي مَعْرَفَةِ الصَّحَابَةِ وَتَبَرَانِ فِي الْكَبِيرِ وَغَيْرِهِمْ قَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ لَا طَاعَ لِمَخْلُوقٍ فِي فِي مَعْصِيَةِ الْخَالِقِ The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said that there is no obedience to the creation in something which is disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the creator <clears throat> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made obedience to one's parents and compared it alongside with Tawheed you know after Tawheed that being one of the greatest things that you can do as far as righteous deeds so make sure you maintain the ties of kinship with your parents uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi ki kitabihi al-kareem wa'abudullah wa la tushriku bi shayin wa bil walidayna ihsana وقوله تعالى وقضى ربك لا تعبد إلا إياه بالوالدين إحسانا. رسول الله تعالى says في كتاب الكريم in those two ayat which affirm for us that we should be obedient to him and avoid shirk and as one of the greatest deeds that we can do is 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 to heed is worshiping Allah سبحانه وتعالى and the most sinful things that we could do is shirk بالله and that along with that obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is being obedient to one's parents as long as they don't call you to disobedience to Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and worship Allah alone and do not associate partners with him and be righteous or obedient to one's parents and in the other ayat Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and your Lord has prescribed for you that you worship him alone and to your parents uh, be righteous so again this verifies for us the qaida that Imam Babhari has said and that is that there is no disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by being obedient to the creation or to rephrase that that there is no obedience to in disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil